back to part two of my ultimate guide to bringing your dog to Vietnam. If you missed part one, make sure you go back, check that one out first, and then come back to this video. So you move to Vietnam with your furry friend, or you're thinking about adopting a dog here. What's next? In this video, we'll cover everything you need to know about adopting a dog here in Vietnam, finding the best vets, and ensuring your dog has an amazing experience here in Vietnam. Whether you're already here with your pup or planning to bring one over, or planning to adopt one when you get here, in this video is packed with essential tips and advice just for you. Let's dive in and make your doggy journey in Vietnam a successful one. Local dog breeds. Vietnam is home to several unique dog breeds that reflect the country's diverse culture and history. Here's a detailed guide to some of the most notable local dog breeds here in Vietnam. Phu Quoc Ridgeback. Originating from Phu Quoc Island, this rare breed is known for its distinctive ridge of hair along its back. They are intelligent, loyal, and require a consistent training and regular exercise. My dog is a Phu Quoc Ridgeback dog. They are very, very rare dogs in the world. So you can only find them here in Vietnam. Origin and history of the Phu Quoc Ridgeback dog originates from the Phu Quoc Islands located in the Gulf of Thailand. It is one of the world's rarest dog breeds. The breed has used historically by local inhabitants for hunting and guarding due to its agility, intelligence, and its loyalty. Physical characteristics. The ridge is the most distinctive feature on the Phu Quoc Ridgeback Dog. The ridge is running the hair along its back and the opposite direction from the rest of its coat. The size, usually they are medium sized dogs, typically weighing between 20 to 25 kilos or 44 to 55 pounds. And they stand 50 to 55 centimeters or 20 to 22 inches tall at the shoulders. <clears throat> Their coat is typically short, it's dense, that comes in various coats including black, brown, beige, and blue, believe it or not. Their temperament is the Phu Quoc Ridgeback Dog is known for its intelligence, independence, and strong hunting instincts. They are very loyal and protective, making them an excellent guard dog, but they can be very, very weary of strangers. Training and Exercise the Phu Quoc Ridgeback Dog requires consistent positive reinforcement training due to their independent nature. High energy levels means that they need regular exercise and mental stimulation. From the Bac Ha region, these dogs have thick coats and are known for their loyalty and their bravery. They need firm training and plenty of exercise. The origin and the history of the Bacha dog hails from Bacha region in a mountainous northwestern part of Vietnam. Traditionally used by the Hmong people for hunting and guarding livestock. Physical characteristics. Their fur is dense. It has a double coat suitable for the cold mountainous climate. It often appears in colors of white, black, and brindle. Their size is usually medium to large size, with males weighing between 18 to 26 kilograms or 40 to 57 pounds, and females slightly lighter. They have erect ears and a bushy tail that curls over the back. Temperament. Bacha dogs are known for their loyalty, their intelligence, and their bravery. They can be aloof with strangers, but are very affectionate and protective of their family. Training and exercise. The Bacha dogs need 
very firm and consistent training with positive reinforcement. They have very high energy levels that require exercise and outdoor activities. General tips for owning local Vietnamese breeds. Each breed has a specific historical roles and traits. Understanding these can help in providing the appropriate care, training, and environment that your dog needs. Regular veterinarian checkups, vaccinations, and preventative care for parasites are very essential for local Vietnamese dogs. Be aware of the breed's specific health issues and make sure you monitor your dog's health closely. Early socialization and consistent training with your dog using positive reinforcement methods are very critical. Expose your dog to various environments, people, and other animals to build their confidence and reduce their fear. Most local Vietnamese breeds are active and intelligent, requiring ample exercise and mental stimulation. Make sure that you engage in activities that challenge their physical and mental abilities such as agility training, hiking, and interactive games. Provide a balanced diet that's suitable for your breed's size, age, and agility. Make sure that they have a lot of activity levels. Consult with a veterinarian to make sure that your dog's nutritional needs are met. Make sure that you check these things with your vet because you just never know, man. These dogs have so many issues. Dog training and socialization. Whether you bring your dog to Vietnam or you adopt a dog here in Vietnam, training and socializing your dog are critical aspects of a responsible pet ownership. Proper training ensures your dog behaves well in a various situations, while socialization helps your dog become comfortable with different people, animals, and environments. Importance of training and socialization. Behavioral benefits. Training helps establish a clear line of communication between you and your dog, making it easier to manage and prevent undesirable behaviors. Socialization reduces the fear and anxiety in new situations, making your dog more confident and well-adjusted here in Vietnam. Safety. A well-trained dog is less likely to engage in dangerous behaviors such as running into traffic or aggressive encounters with other dogs or animals. Socialized dogs are less likely to react aggressively out of fear or confusion. Bonding. Training sessions strengthen the bond between you and your dog through positive interactions and mutual understanding. Socializing your dog allows for shared experiences and adventures, further enhancing you and your dog's relationship. Basic training principles. Use rewards such as treats, praise, and toys to encourage desired behaviors. Positive reinforcement helps build a positive association with training. Make sure that you avoid punishment based on methods which can create fear and anxiety leading to more behavioral issues in your dog here in Vietnam. Consistent commands and routines help your dog understand what is expected of them. Ensure all family members use the same commands and rules. Make sure that you establish a regular training schedule, ideally with a short and frequent sessions. Training takes time and patience with your dog. Be patient and consistent, but also patient with your dog's progress. Celebrate the small successes and understand that there are going to be setbacks and that those setbacks are normal part of the training process. Avoid overwhelming your dog with too many new experiences at once. Basic commands. Teach your dog basic commands like sit, stay, come, and leave it. 
regular training sessions strengthen your bonds and help you and your dog become well adjusted here in Vietnam. First up, sit. Teach your dog to sit on command is fundamental. Use a treat to guide your dog into sitting position, then make sure you reward them immediately. Stay. Start with short durations and gradually increase the length of stay. Reward your dog for staying in place until released. Come. Teaching recall is essential for your dog's safety. Use a happy, enthusiastic tone and reward your dog when they come to you. Leave it. This command helps prevent your dog from picking up dangerous or unwanted items. Use treats to teach your dog to leave objects alone. Heel. Walking on a leash without pulling is important for both you, your comfort, and your dog's safety. Reward your dog for walking outside beside you without tension on the leash. Socializing techniques. Start socializing your dog as early as possible. Ideally, during the critical socialization period is between three weeks and 14 weeks of age. Make sure that you expose your dog to a variety of people, animals, environment, and new experiences. Make sure it's in a controlled environment and make sure that it's positive, you know? Introduce new experiences to your dog gradually. Here in Vietnam, there's a lot of dogs that are uh, very aggressive. Make sure that you start with less intense situations and gradually increase the level of exposure to these other dogs and animals. Ensure each new experience is positive by using treats, praise, and make sure that they can play positively. Use controlled environments to introduce your dog to new dogs. Puppy classes, play dates, and supervised outings are excellent for socializing your dog here in Vietnam. Pet safety and well-being. Home safety. So when you move to Vietnam, ensuring the safety and well-being of your pet is a fundamental responsibility of pet ownership. Keep household chemicals, medication, and sharp objects out of your pet's reach. Secure cabinets with childproof locks if necessary. Make sure that electrical cords, you hide them or you cover electrical cords to prevent your pet from chewing on them. Provide a comfortable, secure crate or bed for your pet. This can be a safe retreat when they feel a little bit anxious or they just need to take a rest. Ensure windows, doors, and fences are secure to prevent your dog from escaping. Check all your house for holes and gaps in the fences. Provide a safe and non-toxic toy that is appropriate for your pet's size and chewing habits. Avoid toys that can be easily swallowed down their throat or that can be easily broken apart. Make sure that you rotate toys regularly to keep your pet engaged and prevent them from being bored. Outdoor safety. Make sure that you use a sturdy leash and harness to control your pet during walks around here in Vietnam. Make sure that you wear reflective gear to enhance the visibility during nighttime and to make sure that people can actually see you. Ensure that your pet wears a collar with your information and an ID tag and consider microchipping for additional security for your dog. Here in Hanoi, it's been getting a lot hotter. Ho Chi Minh City, it's very hot. So avoid outdoor activities during the hottest part of the day. Provide plenty of water for your dog and shade if you have to go out. Never leave your dog in the car because it is just too hot here. If you are in a mountainous area like Sapa, it's gonna get pretty cold or like Dalat because I know Dalat gets uh, cold. But protect your pet from the extreme cold with the appropriate clothing 
it does get cold here in Hanoi, so make sure that you limit their exposure to freezing temperatures. Vietnam doesn't get freezing, so it does get cold in the north here. So make sure that you just put a little sweater on them or something, you know, they'll be okay. Be aware of plants that are toxic to your dog, such as lilies, azaleas, and salgo plums. Remove or avoid these plants in your garden and during those walks. They are natural here in Vietnam. Prevent your dog from accessing antifreeze, pesticides, and other toxic chemicals that's found outdoors. Uh, again, like I said, dogs have been dying recently here in 2024 because someone is poisoning or multiple people are poisoning putting little meat uh, us dog owners here are watching out for those people so whoever you are you need to stop it community and dog friendly events dog friendly events are a great way for pet owners to socialize with their pets meet other pet owners and engage in community activities these events do provide opportunities for your pets to exercise, learn new skills, and enjoy social interaction with other dogs in a controlled and safe environment. Some large scale events such as Pet Fair Vietnam that feature various pet related products, services, and activities. They often include vendor booths and demonstrations and competitions. Product showcases, training demonstrations, grooming services, adoption drives, and educational seminars are some things that happen at these expos and fairs. Some of these events where dogs compete in various categories such as confirmation, agility, and obedience, and special skills. Some of these are like breed competitions, agility courses, and obedience trials, and maybe some talent shows. Some of these adoption events are organized by animal shelters and rescue groups to find homes for dogs in need. These events often include meet and greets with those adoptable dogs. Some of the activities, adoption meetups, information booths about pet care, and sometimes training sessions for new pet owners. Some of these charity walks and charity runs uh, are fundraising events where participants walk or run with their dog so that they can raise money for animal welfare organizations here in Vietnam. Some of these sponsored walks or runs, uh, they do like agility courses or competitions and they do pet costume contests and some like a vendor booth they have there. So some of these dog park meetups, you, you can just meet your neighbor, uh, whoever has a dog in the neighborhood. Um, that's kind of going to be your best bet. Um, but you can go to parks, uh, you can go to these local dog parks that are around here. Uh, you can, you know, have a meetup with uh, an actual organized group. Uh, they have specific groups that, that meet up, you know, every month. Training clubs and uh, some community organizations where you can just meet up fellow dog owners. So here in Vietnam, they have some community festivals that welcome pets. These events often feature a mix of pet related activities and general activities for everyone around. Yeah, they have live music, food vendors, pet parades, contests, and they have educational pet awareness workshops. Is Vietnam a good place to bring your dog or adopt a dog? Positive aspects. Vietnam is increasingly becoming pet friendly, especially in urban areas like Hanoi, Ho Chi Minh City, and Da Nang. There are more pet friendly cafes, parks, and accommodations available now around in Vietnam. The growing awareness and activism for animal welfare are contributing to a more welcoming environment for pets. Major cities have a range of veterinarian services from basic to advanced treatments 
ensuring that your pet can receive the proper medical attention. There are very good reputable clinics and hospitals here in Hanoi and in Ho Chi Minh City and Da Nang that provide comprehensive health care for your dogs, cats, and all your pets. Vietnam hosts various dog-friendly events and meetups every month, providing opportunities for you and your dog to socialize with the community. These events enhance the well-being of your dog and offer platforms for pet owners to connect and share their experiences. Considerations and challenges. Understanding and respecting the local culture and their attitudes towards dogs is very critical here. In some areas, dogs might not be as welcomed and in the public area and spaces, some might restrict their access here. So be very sensitive to the local way of life and how they respect for dogs and for pets around them. Ask, make sure that you ask permission before allowing your dog to interact with anyone here because Vietnamese are very afraid of dogs. So uh, just make sure that you ask all the time. Vietnam's tropical climate can be very challenging for some dogs, particularly in terms of heat and humidity. Proper care, hydration, and adjusting activities to cooler times of the day are very necessary here in Vietnam. Urban areas might have limited green space compared to rural regions, so find a suitable exercising area that your dog really loves because there is not a lot of green space here. Ensuring your dog is up to date with their vaccinations and parasite prevention is important due to the preventative nature of certain diseases here in tropical climates. Awareness of local hazards such as toxic plants and substances is vital to keep your dog safe here in Vietnam. Again, watch out for poisonings in Vietnam in general. Complying with Vietnam's import regulations, including health certificates and vaccinations is unnecessary for smooth entry process. Planning for travel, both within and outside of Vietnam, involves understanding the airline's policies and accommodation requirements. Make sure that you check out the local transport regulations. Vietnam can be a good place to bring your dog if you are well prepared and mindful of the cultural, environmental, and regulatory aspects of Vietnam. The growing pet-friendly infrastructure in urban areas, the availability of veterinarian care, and the opportunity for community engagement make it a viable destination for dog owners. However, it requires responsible pet ownership, including respecting local customs, ensuring health and safety, and adapting to this tropical climate. With the right preparations and considerations, you and your dog can have a fulfilling and enjoyable life here in Vietnam. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this mini series and the deep dive into the world of dogs in Vietnam, make sure that you like this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video I drop. Leave your questions and your comments below and share your thoughts on the evolving roles of dogs here in Vietnam. What did you think? Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Oh, 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 oh,